Curious Gomo. Wow, what a beautiful underwater world we're in. What's inside this chest we found at the bottom of the ocean? Could it be a treasure chest? Hmm, but it's locked with a locket. How are we going to open it? It's a really strong chest. Aha! Uh -huh. We found the key! I hope this is the right key. Well, it opened! Is there really treasure inside it? Oh! There's another chest inside the chest. Uh? And this uh. chest has a lock on it as well. How are we going to get this chest open? Uh. I don't see a key anywhere either. Uh. Uh. Oh. 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 What's that? Six eight zero one. Could it be the code for the lock? Six eight zero one. I'll send. Will the lock open finally? Oh no, that must be the wrong code. Hmm. Hmm. We were almost sure it was 6801. What do our friends think? One zero eight nine. Why does the number look different? Aha! Uh -huh. The paper was upside down. The passcode was one zero eight nine. Okay, let's check to see if it works. One zero eight nine. Like opened. I hope there's not another chest inside the chest. Wow, it's treasure! It really was a treasure chest! <laughs> Congrats, Gomo! But hey, you think you can share some of that with me as well? Huh? Today we explored a lock together with Gomo. A lock is a device used to lock something so that it doesn't open. Locks are usually made of metal, so it's really tough and strong. You can't open locks without a key or a passcode number. So you should always keep the keys in a safe place and always remember the passcode. Alrighty then, little friends. Until next time, stay curious, curious. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Toto's Shadow Quiz Show. <laughs> the Shadow Quiz is where you look at a shadow and guess what animal it belongs to. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun, yeah? 
All right, Animal Shadow Quiz, let's begin! I've seen this tale somewhere. The tuft of fur on the end of the tail means it belongs to a lion? Oh, Gomi, you are too hasty. Now, how about we look at some more clues? Wow, this animal sure has really long legs. A deer? Oh, it's not a deer either. How about we look at another clue? A horse? Are we sure about that? Hmm, it's not a horse either. Toto, the quiz is too hard. All right then, the last hint. Aha, I get it now. Our friends watching, can you guess what this animal is? The answer is... A giraffe! Wow, what a truly long neck. <laughs> Goodbye, dear giraffe. And now, let's get on with the second quiz. What is this? It's round in shape. A pig? Hmm, I don't think it's a pig. Second clue. It's slowly crawling around. Hamster? A hippo? Oh, what animal could it be? Okay then, last hint. Ribbit, ribbit? Aha, this is a sure giveaway. Our friends watching know what animal it is, right? The answer is... A frog! <laughs> we got the answer! Wow, why is this frog so cute looking? <laughs> this frog is called a desert rain frog. It's also known as the cutest frog in the world. Hey, Toto. We want to take a closer look at this frog. Wow! That's a very big desert rain frog. <laughs> Today, we took a closer look at a giraffe and a frog. Giraffes live in Africa. They can grow to be four meters tall. Its neck is so long that it can eat leaves off of tall trees. Because it's so tall, not even lions dare to attack it. Wow, that's quite something, huh? The desert frog lives in the African desert. There's nothing but sand in the desert, but the frog is able to live there because there's a lot of fog there. When threatened, it puffs itself up like a big ball and starts making this really cute sound. The world's cutest frog, the desert rain frog. It was a pleasure to have met you.